in South Dakota. Buffalo's off to a 2 0 start this season. And they work with Batty. Salmon against the Tennessee for the front line. Hans. Four from the floor so far. Now Batty against Pons. Now Pons. He backed up. He backed up. Keon Johnson ready to inbound the basketball. Fans love getting to see him go to work. Oh. Starts the travel. Scobie running Tennessee's offense. James. That fake. And the Buffs get it back. Yeah, he should have shot it initially. You know, you, you, you get your feet set right away. No need to head fake. Just go ahead and put that shot up in rhythm. Be in gaps, and that's going to create nightmares for opponents. Tell me, a tough time getting him back for his senior year. Ended up naming him Jack, and 22 years later, he's back in Knoxville for the first time. You think he's regretted? Hey, there we go. <laughs> and Jordan just side, just side Jordan James stealing that one away. Now the balls go to work. Look for their secondary action right here. Johnson. Can't score this year. Yeah, you know, we talked to Coach Barnes about that as well, and he wanted to extend pressure because he's got the legs. Now, initially, early on in the year, it's just a matter of guys, you know, being in great shape because you can't press unless you're in very good shape. But, uh, again, you know, they, they're, they're... Geico National Championship there. More pressure. James already with active hands for Tennessee in the backcourt. All right, he'll try to get it going. He's connected on his only shot attempt so far. He's averaging 22 points a game in Colorado in the first two matchups. Springer. Scoreless round, but still in Colorado. Two for 10 from the floor to begin this game. From beyond the arc, only their first five. Kumas checked in for Tennessee as well. Um, I'm interested to see his match racing process from last year. Looks like he's chiseled a little bit more, got a little bigger. Uh, and, uh, you know, he, he, run, he ran the floor well last year, but just never got his footing under him. So looking to see him get off to a good start. Scovey starts to drive after the fake. He's got a solid pass. I'll call them. Let's see to leave their feet. And he goes right by. Kenley Wright starting to attack for Tennessee. Yeah, this is the deepest they've gone into the shot clock. <laughs> Bailey really got some separation. Here's Pons from deep. Just short. Colorado still looking for its first three pointer today. Batty inside. John Fulkerson back in for Tennessee. Already scored four points with a rebound. Tennessee switching all screens. You know, they've got the ability. Three minute scoring draw for Colorado. Horn. Chance the drought. Wide open right. The fake. Find Schwartz. He can in three. Batty sticks and gets the rebound. That's what Colorado has to do. Yeah, they need those second chances right now to kind of get themselves back in the game. Keep the season over. Yeah, and you're, you're starting to see a little bit. That's a couple turnovers from Stovey now. Game nine turnovers on Colorado, seven on the ball. Three pointer won't go. Here comes Tennessee in transition. This is where Tennessee really wants to be. They want to get out and run and score in transition. Because when they're stagnant, and, and again, this 2-3 zone has made them stagnant. Now he's caught in the sweet spot. He's got to go to work. It's the reigning SEC Defender of the Year. So, rivalry that could erupt. That's what you love to see. The Pac-12 meeting the SEC. What an over for Tennessee to schedule a Power 5 team to begin the year after all the uncertainty. Got to get the ball to the score. Now, you look at the guys on the floor right now, and I would certainly consider looking at you, Pons. Now, look for Fulkerson or Pons to step right there. Now, turn and face. See what you got. It's just that. Kenley Wright. Let's try to build a four-point lead. Pons, 
Short with a chance to tie it with a two, take a lead with a three. Yeah, that's not necessarily his his game either. Bartholomew left it short, pawns the rebound. Let's see, pushing. Got to make that pass if it runs. Josiah George James is there with a wide open three. And they will be able to face them, face them at their home in Boulder where they've been so good throughout the years. This is a Colorado team as well that gets off to a good start over the last three years. They've been 18 and one in the month of November. That's second best in the nation behind Virginia. 22 and one, that's our last national champion. Yes, we know what Virginia can do. One opportunity here to tie it up or take the lead as Tennessee has led from the get-go in this contest. Great Ryan defense. Lost the basketball. Keon Johnson ties it up. Great defense by Keon Johnson. We need to get a, 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 another look at that because he moves his feet. Now, all the youngsters out there, he moves his feet. He goes in, tries to get the ball with two hands, does a great job of getting and then gets on the floor for it. That is the spark that Tennessee needed right there. A great game for Johnson to make his debut, getting to go up against somebody like McKinley Rose. And he's going to cause a turnover here. Ah, Deion Johnson getting fired up. That's what they needed. You know, again, you know, he gets into that passing lane. He's uber quick, very agile, uses that right arm, right hand here, swipe around, and goes right off of McKinley's knee. Great defensive effort there. Now Tennessee trying to end in over three minutes scoring ground balls and miss their last four shots. Johnson does not miss here. No, no, we, you know, we got a glimpse of what Coach Barnes was drawing up there at the timeout. We saw those double screens there and we knew something special was coming. Tennessee grows it back to a four-point lead. Maddie attacks Pons. It's wide open for a reason. They, they really respect Santiago's shooting ability, so they get, gotta get the ball. Sean Bartholomew. All right, driving against Anasicki, and a foul's called. Oh, man. Still a seven point Tennessee lead. Here's Pons. All inside. It's just. It, it opens the outside up so much more. Again, you, you're just not quite sure that that's EJ's range right now. Four. The pawns. Strong from beyond there. He plays at the next level. He's going to have to put the ball on the floor and go by something. Fulkerson just re entered with three fouls. Tennessee connects. Trying to get a piece of it. But right here, starts out inside out. Got a wide open look. Quickly to Horn. Another piece. Basketball back to the big orange. Tennessee to Fulkerson. Inside out. Yo, know, Lamonte Turner decides to leave a little bit early, and that puts all the onus on Josiah Jordan James' shoulder to run the show. It's tough. Now Tennessee with solid defense, trying to continue a 6-0 run. Springer trying to go to Fulkerson, but a lot of contact. Got a great look by Springer. Kept that ball alive. Great, great look here. Kept his eyes up. It's a great pass. Morley got into a really got anything going. It's a good passing here. It's a three-pointer. Born with the offensive rebound. Fulkerson a little slow to get up. Yeah, Coach Barnes definitely not going to be happy about this. More offensive rebounds for Colorado. Right again. Gets his own miss. Here's Horn. High school, I probably shouldn't know. What does that say about me? <laughs> so, of course, went to Dobbins Bennett High School before going to the Christ School in North Carolina. Just on the floor. Silva trying to keep it alive. What a battle here. Johnson came out of there with it, and he yeah. traveled. Yeah, he got up off of the floor. Got up off of the floor. You know, he, 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 that's great effort from Keon Johnson. You know, that's great effort from, from all of us there on that side of the floor. Victor Bailey, you want to see him get down and not try to take off with it. But Keon gets up here. Has to realize he's just enough, Roger, to make this a game. Again, you know, if you're Tennessee, if you're Coach Barnes, you want to see that killer instinct from your basketball team to put them away. All right, starting to attack, feeds Bartholomew. 
Yeah, the buzzer didn't get it to go. Shot not quite up to par. Playing a physical guy like Matty as well, 6'8", 260 pounds. Here's Johnson, nice pass. He's got to shoot back. Olivier, eight-point deficit. Colorado's hit one of its last ten from the floor and has a score in over three minutes. Kenley Wright, the fourth, can do some scoring. He feeds down low, and Walty with all the momentum. Scoby, now where do you go? Who, who's going to be your answer? By Keon Johnson. He levels us some other places, so he got to play really elite five on five. That helped him over the summer, and also just got to relax, got to go surfing. Yeah, yeah. Jaden Springer gets his feet set right here, does his homework early, knocks down the big time three. You know, you look at someone like Big Ticket Gaines that had stepping over here right now. Alterson and Pons. Similar spots where you want to see Pons get the basketball. Now Fulkerson. Jaden Springer. Fulkerson. The spin. And just couldn't connect, but there's Pons with the board. E. Pons left to the chairman of the rules committee in the NCAA. So yeah. Two coaches that know officiating as well as anybody. Victor Bailey off the back iron. Pons flies in for the board. Still Tennessee basketball. Yeah, he's not letting his his uh, shooting affect the fact that he is still getting after it on the offensive end. Turnover on Tennessee. Here come the Buffs. Martha not taking care of the basketball. We'll have to head back to the bench. Right now that's where Keon Johnson is, but Tennessee with Springer getting the steal. Springer. Seven point lead again, two and a half minutes to go. Kenley Wright. Scored eight points today. Pushes off.